So our delivery is planned as a vaginal. I don't know if you wanted to do water. Yes. You go from this to this, right? That one to the ten. You're about to make me cry. No, I love it. I really do. Boy, you know it's true. I'm in love with you. Ain't nothing I won't do when it comes to you, baby. Don't care what we go through. I'm the one for you. These girls ain't got a clue. I'm stuck to you like glue, baby. It's me and you. I said it's me and you, baby. It's me and you. All these things that we've been through, baby. about to head out we gotta run a few errands today actually a handful of errands first things first on the list to take these dogs out so i ain't gonna hold y'all too much with this process because they ready to go and i'm ready to carry get this process over with but y'all we are reaching the final days of having to even do this so mm -hmm. so we're about to go ahead and take them out y'all ready to go dogs i get my hair start sit sit kane sit you ready to go buddy all right as you guys see we also have pnc bank and we finna go in here and hit a lick so let's get it Girl, you I'm by yourself. Playing. I'm just playing, y'all. You bet you off they hear you. <laughs> I know, right? But um, we're literally, as we said, we are running errands today. So we got to make a bank stop today because we are going to be putting... Should I tell them or should yeah, I tell wait? Tell them, tell them. Tell them? Ah! We are going to be putting our deposit down to move, y'all. So we'll be making our first payment for our house. And I'm super excited. And I feel like this is the moment that takes it from, okay, this is really starting to become reality. You know, because first it felt like an illusion, and now it's like, okay, this is reality now. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we about to run into PNC, get our check, and do some other things. Bay needs to eat. He need to get him a juice because tell him, Bay, you ain't been feeling too well. Y'all, my chest been hurting, y'all. I don't know why exactly, yeah. but I'm, you know, me, I'm not a type of person to just run to the doctor. I really will wait it out. You know what I'm saying? And see if it progresses and try to treat it myself. You feel me? Because going to the hospital, they're probably gonna tell me to go home, put some ice on it. You know what I'm saying? They done did it before. So I'm not about to go get a bill just so they tell me to go put some ice on it. So I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, try to treat it myself, you know, and try to take in some herbs and some good things for my body. And we got to get food. Yeah, we And food. we got to, it's 11.30 right now. We got to make it to our appointment about 12.30. So yeah, we, we have an appointment. Right, we got an appointment with our doula, you guys. First time we meeting our doula today. So it's a big step in the birth journey as well, as far as the house journey too. So it's two big steps today, y'all. So honestly, it's a big day. and. I really wanted to make sure we journalists, you know what I'm saying? Because this is probably the beginning of some big, big stuff, y'all. So make sure y'all drop on love in the comment section if you rockin' with the short family. Period, on love. All right, you guys. So we are literally at our next destination. And in this envelope, will be the envelope that we give the people to move, y'all. To lock in our crib. Y'all, this is a long time coming. This is a bittersweet moment. Honestly, on the way here, I almost cried. Oh, I almost cried a couple times, a few times. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you because I prayed for this. Me? You wouldn't pay attention if you was looking over and seeing. I was getting chills and tears and about to come out my eyes, y'all, because this is just, I prayed for this so many times and I knew it was, it was going to come and we just had to work for it and pray and believe that it was going to happen and, and it is happening, y'all. For sure. So we're about to head in here. We're kind of on crunch time, so we're going to run in here. We got to come out, go get some food and then head to our doula. So we just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know that we're going to take this money in here so we can have a new house. Y'all, it's our house, man. We're about to go ahead and lock it in. Let's get it. Lock it, it in. All right, y'all. We at H-E-B right now. I got to go in here and grab a little detox drink. You know what I'm saying? Try to clear my immune system and clear my body out of all the toxins in it. So right now, we got Bay right here. How you feeling, Bay? I got a pee. You got a pee? Y'all, y'all don't know nothing about no H E B, man. Y'all, we don't, we don't even know where we're at. Like, we really don't. So we need to hurry up and get to the bathroom and get her and get this juice, get back in the car. Yeah, she's hungry too, y'all. Plus, like I said, H E B is only in Texas, so <laughs> you wouldn't know unless you know. Yeah, if it. Yay. Want to tell them where it's, we at? It's getting real. It's we getting real. At our um, first duo appointment, you guys. So. Yeah, you guys meet Lily. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be taking care of us through the journey. Absolutely. And baby boy. And yeah. we gonna make sure that, you know, we get everything good. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she done learned a lot of stuff already. Yeah, I so. have, I have. I yes. definitely have. 
Yes, I'm excited for you. With psychology. And so again, you know, I'm thinking about how to get your mental health in a space to be open. You can have expectations and desires and still believe and have faith that everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to. And that's what I know. But we don't know what's going to happen. And we have to be open to pivots. And my okay, job true. is to prepare you, but not scare you, right? So right. this is a safe space to just talk through some what ifs. So that if something pivots, we don't have to panic, right? Right. Because we this is not the first time I'm hearing this. You know, this is something that could happen. We're going to give you, your body, the baby, the best chance at the desires that you guys want. But also know that the goal is a healthy mom and a healthy baby. Right. Okay. So desires, we absolutely have them. Expectations, we have, absolutely have them. And then we leave the plan to what I believe we leave it to God, right? So we just kind of leave it mm -hmm. and know that you're going to be okay. So our delivery is planned as a vaginal. I don't know if you wanted to do water. Yes. You do want to do water. I, I wanted it. Honestly, how I look at it, it's just however I'm feeling. That is a so, great way to think about yeah. it. Great, great way to think about it. Because I want to say water, but you never know. I might need to just stand up and mm -hmm. just be over the bed or mm -hmm. whatever, you know? Very smart girl. So. I have a lot of clients that are like, I want to be in the water. <laughs> I'm like, yes, ma'am. And then we get there. They're like, get me out of here. <laughs> so it just depends on... Like you said, you know, what your body does. And there's some people yeah. that love the water, like, you know, and it, it's beautiful in the videos you've probably seen. Yeah, I've seen a lot it's, of them. It's nice. It's <laughs> nice. You just got to, when you start learning about birth, then you're going to be like, oh, do I want to do this? Because the right. water, of course, adds that pressure. But that could be helpful. So yeah. you just got to go with what's best for you. That's true. That's yes. true. So I love that answer. You can check both of them just so they're there. So the next one is just, it's what we don't want now. Obviously, we're not going to be in a hospital, so most, if not all of these things, are not even going to be in the picture, right. but I want to talk about what these things mean. You guys know what an epidural is. It's the medication, which yeah. we're not trying to do. Um, if, you know, of course, something happens and there is an epidural um, included, just know a catheter has to happen. Um, an episiotomy, we absolutely are not going to have to deal with, but I put that on my birth desires because a lot of doctors, if you don't specify, sometimes they do it, and it's actually, to me, abusive. I don't like it. It's basically cutting the perineum to help bring the baby out. Mm. It's rushing the body. Yes. Mm. Um, it's not as common these days, thankfully, but you got. I like to specify these things so that, you know, if something is to happen, we can have something legally to say we said we don't want this, right? Right. Okay. Um, and so... Um, and then obviously an IV, you wouldn't need, I mean, it's very uncommon in birthing centers. However, if you are severely dehydrated, which I think I do a pretty good job of keeping you guys hydrated in okay. labor, um, then they would give you just something to get, you know, get your fluids up. But that's just all that. This is the fun part. What do you want? What's your vision? Um, so if you want music, you, I actually recommend you guys making your own playlist. Yeah. I think it's great. It'll bring oxytocin. You guys can have your little insider songs special things that are motivating and encouraging. I also have one too, but I recommend that you guys make one together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. You should only have to be checked if we have a like an unction that you're feeling the urge to push and we need to be sure that it's time. And they will check you when you initially get there to see if you can be admitted or not because you have to be six centimeters. We're going to go from this to this, right? That one to the ten, okay? okay. Your body can do it. It's going to do it amazingly okay. and powerfully because you have everything that you need to get there. Okay, Ooh. that's going to get us one step to our baby, right? Yeah. Okay, so if we're there, that's like, usually people are saying, oh my goodness, it's time to push. Well, the other thing that people don't consider is if baby is still floating high, then you're pushing and you're causing too much force for no reason. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is have the baby in a station that's engagement, which is a zero or plus. Okay. okay. So whenever they do a vaginal exam, they will tell you how dilated you are. And I always ask for the rest of the information. Like what is your effacement and what is the baby's station? Because if the baby's station is still in the negatives, which is like floating up here, uh -huh. then we're going to let you labor down because there's no point. And we'll just be rushing your body right. and tiring you out. Okay. Okay. So we want to let you push spontaneously. Yeah. Definitely needed it. So yeah, you can use that whenever you're doing walks or anything like that. I want you to use this to take the, yay <laughs> to take that tension off of you. Yeah, it feels like right, right. especially when you have a small torso, it's like a lot of pressure. Very and small. And it looks torso. like he's head down already, right? Yeah. So then you have that too. So it okay. should help a lot. That's my gift to to you. So you yay, can have you. that. Absolutely. Super excited for this. <laughs> yay. We did it. I'm gonna be. On them walks, I'm gonna be able to keep up with you. Now. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, I'm the speed you walker. Running, so. yeah, I'm the speed walker. Uh huh. So, do you remember how to put it on? You got it? Um, you want me to take it apart so you can try it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's try that. 
And then you can help her too when you okay. see it. Yeah. You're about to make me cry. No, I love it. I really do. <laughs> no, don't cry, today. <laughs> I'm about to cry. You deserve it. And it says oh, mama to be you. on the side. Oh, <laughs> look how Yay. Cute. Yay. I literally just got me a mom to be too. Oh, good. Cup, so. good. Good, but good. But this good. one's so much more cute. <laughs> I'm so glad it. you like it. You deserve it, honey. <laughs> you deserve it. So we'll put everything. All right, y'all, we just got back from the doula appointment. How you feel, babe? About what? The doula. And just the doula in general? Mm hmm She was really nice. I really liked her. I'm glad that we ended up, like, warm with her and picking her. Um, She had a very nice energy, and I'm very grateful that she's going to be the one helping us deliver. I'm confident in her. What about you? Yeah, y'all, I liked her, too, y'all. She definitely gives the right vibe that we need, you know what I'm saying, to help us get through this journey. You know, and y'all, I'm sure y'all seen parts and pieces too, but I really think we in good hands, y'all. I'm excited for this journey and I'm excited to, you know, get the birth of my son. Yeah, come to my lap. Let me see my That's daddy's boy. Y'all, we didn't even tell them. We went to go see him yesterday, y'all. Oh, yeah, we did. We didn't even tell y'all. So didn't. So we went to go see him yesterday and we found out three different things. First one being that our, which we already like knew this because they've been saying this for, since we've been going to the doctor, they basically said that our due date that we had, which is June 16th, basically that they're estimating that he's gonna come before then. So we got a new due date, estimated due date, which is June 9th, which makes me excited because I won't have to be as pre uh, pregnant as long. But y'all, baby is 4.8 pounds right now. So they estimated his birth weight will be about eight pounds and I'm pretty nervous about that, you know. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. I was an eight pound baby, Derek was a six pound baby. Um, I'm not surprised, I'm just a little bit nervous with that part, but just like my doula was telling me today, she was saying that she's had people that pushed out 10 pound babies. So, that being said. Yeah, but even if Bay has a 12 pound baby, she will push them out. She gonna be good, she can do it, she's strong, y'all. God's gonna give her whatever she can handle, you feel me? This is a very love. exciting day for us. If you hear, was here, the whole video, we got got our lease in everything signed for our house. We met our doula for the first time, came up with our birth plan. Yeah. Big steps. Important stuff. Important stuff, y'all. So we out of here. Until next time. Oh.